Hello friends, welcome to the ComSol tutorial presented by me, Shishendu Mitro, research scholar of Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati. So, in this video, I am going to teach you how to use ComSol multiphysics in order to model two-phase flow or multi-phase flow. So far, we discussed the models that were involved only single-phase flow inside any channel, but here we are going to teach you two-phase flow. Say, will model a two-phase flow inside a micro channel so let us proceed with our modeling so one console tab is opened already so as usual I go to model wizard click on it then you select 2d now from physics I will go to fluid flow as I want to model a fluid flow so you can see here there are several options like single phase flow, thin flow, multi phase flow. So we are for the time being will be cons will be concerned only in multi phase flow. So I just expand this multi phase flow. There are several options, say bubbly flow, two phase flow, level set flow, etc. So out of that, uh, suppose I select two phase level set. Now, under this two-phase level set also, we have laminar two-phase flow and turbulent two-phase flow. Suppose I am modeling it for a micro-channel. So, inside a micro-channel, the fluid flow would obviously be laminar. That's why I choose a laminar flow, say level set. Then, now, what is level set? What is phase field? That we will discuss in the different video. So, now, for the timing, I take laminar two phase flow just click on add <coughs> then I go to study take time dependent one click on done so two phase multi uh, two phase fluid flow has been selected now as usual I go to geometry uh, change the unit to micrometer as I am doing it for a micro channel so I choose micrometer right click on it select a rectangle say the height of the channel is 1 micrometer and this uh, with this say 5 click build selected so I have the micro channel having 1 micrometer diameter if it is uh, it is basically 2D uh, so the height is 1 micrometer and the length is 5 micrometer now say I take materials one more thing I need to do suppose uh, I am modeling a two phase flow so there might there must be two fluids inside the channel so there must be two either two inlets or inside the channel there must be two fluid stream ok uh, so let us proceed with two inlet I click here select one say square I want to put some square here so how can I do that suppose so y would be 1 so base y would be 1 and x say here I want to put it so make it 1 side of the channel say 1 micrometer you can make it ok keep it 1 micrometer we will select it so we have another inlet so we will make it an inlet and this one another inlet now we need to choose materials so right click on it click on add material say this is a say I want to monitor for oil and water so I write water and click on search liquid and gases liquids uh, this one is water 
I click add to selection one more I want say oil search <coughs> go to liquids say engine oil say transfer oil I'm taking yeah now I go to fluid properties so you can see here there is an option initial values I need to choose another initial value why I will tell you later so initial value 2 say I put say I put water in this region or say oil in this region so just click on here so this one is the initial value 2 so obviously initial rest of the things will be initial value 1 now say there are two fluids now fluid 1 and fluid 2 So you can see here fluid init fluid initial in this domain. Okay, it is showing phi equal to zero. Fluid one means phi equal to zero. So I choose fluid one here, and so in this place it should be fluid two. So you can see. Yeah, phi one means fluid two. So now again I am showing this domain is your fluid 1 phi equal to 0 and this domain is fluid 2. Now I go to fluid properties. Say fluid 1 is that domain material. So we have two fluids. So I yeah. Say fluid two. I choose. What is our fluid two? Let let me check once again fluid 2 is yeah fluid 2 is here so I put fluid 2 as transfer oil so fluid 2 would be transfer oil sorry transfer oil and fluid 1 would be water so this region is water that region is transfer wire so one more thing he, uh, is needed here and that is interfacial tension so here uh, what we can do for the time being we can keep it like uh, this is a liquid liquid so it's better to keep uh, it as usual to find and put it say 0 0.03 all other things you do not change so all the properties will be taken from the material itself so I'll show you the equation it will solve so this is basically the Navier-Stokes equation uh, with this phase field equation this is a level set so this is a level set equation so this level what this level set equation is signifying there is a parameter phi which we are solving for and this phi is representing the fluid volume fraction inside the channel as I shown you earlier phi equal to 0 means fluid 1 and phi equal to 1 means fluid 2 so phi basically represents the fraction or volume fraction of the material inside the channel now what are the things we are left with we have to put our inlet outlet and we have to give, give the boundary condition so just right click on it I put one inlet as I told you earlier I need two inlets because I have two fluids inside and one outlet so there will be two inlet one inlet is here I select it another inlet say this place a common outlet this one now 
I have to give the boundary condition. So suppose I want to make it a velocity driven flow. So I give it as velocity and the normal velocity here say it is moving with 0 0.1 meter per second. This is too high but still I am giving. It said micro channel point 1 is too high so I can make it 0 0.01. I let to say it is moving with 0 0.0 0 0.05 so it will, it will move slower than that of inlet 1 and outlet I keep pressure condition so 0 pressure that would be the outlet condition so what we what are the things we did we gave we gave the boundary conditions we defined our material and also the material properties so now we do the meshing. Common meshing is uh, normal meshing is well enough. Then we go to study. Say we solve it for 0 0.0 with a time interval of 0 0.01 up to say 0 0.1 second. Then just click on compute. It will take time to, uh, to compute because see uh, we are solving so many equations the equations are we have two fluids so we have two Navier Stokes equations for both the fluids as well as we have another equation that, uh, that I already told you that is level set equation so those equations are coupled and the console is solving all the equations together that is why it is taking time so we can wait for it and uh, the rest part I will upload in the say, the next video so the result part I will upload in the next video till then please wait and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you